Hi everyone and welcome to this slow vinyasa flow focused on flexibility and stretching. For our fitness, we want to be both flexible and strong, so today we're going to really dial in on our flexibility. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as two new practices come out every week. And I'd love if you'd share this video with a friend or a couple of friends if you like it and you think they might like it also. Sharing is caring and it really supports the channel and makes me very happy. Now when you're ready, we will start at child's pose at the back of the mat. So stretching the arms nice and long, you can have the knees together or apart, melt the heart down, bring the forehead to the mat. Just really feeling the earth underneath you, underneath the hands, underneath the knees. Anchoring yourself here with the breath. Letting go of the world outside, whatever's going on in your life right now. And taking time for yourself. Deep inhales through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. And if you wish to engage Ujjayi breath, you're welcome to do so now. Otherwise, let's just stay with inhales and exhaling through the nose. One more full breath there. Really expanding the back ribs on the exhale. On the inhale, apologies, and then exhaling, letting the breath go, flowing out of the body. Let's walk the hands to the right, stretching a little more through the left side of the body. We'll start by just warming up the body, bringing mobility into it, and then come deeper into some stretching movements. Walking the hands to the left. Finding that stretch through the back right of the body. And then from there, bringing the hands back through to centre. Walking the hands up, coming to a kneeling position. Clasp the hands, press them forward, rounding through the spine. Then we lift tall and then open the arms. See if you can get a little bit of shoulder mobility as you open through the arms. Let's round again. We've got three more. Press the hands away. Come high. Open wide. Again, pressing away. Exhale here. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Last one. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale and inhale. Come to tabletop. Setting up, wrist directly under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We'll just thread the needle. So we'll take a little more rotation through the spine. Lifting one arm high. Rotating it through. And just go as far as is comfortable. If you're ready, you can bring the side of the shoulder and the side of the head to the mat. I want you to think of keeping your hips nice and square. So your sit bones are pressing to the wall behind you evenly. Let's lift nice and high. Inhale. Exhale. Coming down. Let's take one more. Inhale. Find that beautiful opening. And exhale. Threading through. Just take a couple of breaths here. Really finding that rotation where the rib cage meets the spine. And coming back to centre. Other side, lifting nice and high. Threading through. Pre remember, sit bones pressing evenly behind you. Lifting nice and high. Threading through. We'll take one more. Lift, inhale. Find the openness. Exhale, thread through. Back to tabletop. All right, downward facing dog. Hands stay pretty much where they are. You can take them a little wider if you prefer. Let's tuck the toes under, knees come off, core is engaged. Pressing the sit bones to the high diagonal behind you. Heels reaching towards the earth. Doesn't matter if they don't touch. You can bend the knees. 
So I want your lower back and your butt like the apex of a triangle, the point of a triangle. Really pushing the mat away through the arms. Let's just pedal through the feet here. Whatever movement you need, just feeling into your body. What does it need right now to warm you up for our practice? All right, and then from there, we're going to come to scorpion. So lifting the right leg. Then we open, bend the knee, open the hip. Keep the chest and the shoulders square to your mat. From here, can you try and lift the top knee a little higher while pressing the bottom heel down towards the earth? Then we extend the leg, lower it down. Let's take the other side. Lift, square hips first, bend the knee, open the hip, keeping the chest and the shoulders square to your mat. And can you take the top knee a little higher while pressing the bottom heel down? Extend, lower, walking the feet towards the hands. Feet are hip width apart. Chest on the thighs, knees nice and bent, ragdoll. Hands long or take the back of the elbows. And just releasing the vertebra away from each other. Give the head a shake. No tension through the head and neck. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the belly in, rolling up through the spine nice and slow. And come to standing. Beautiful. From here, you can either keep your feet hip width apart or bring them together. I'm staying hip width apart today. Let's bring the hands to prayer at heart center. We'll take one cleansing breath to start. Inhale and exhale. We step back with the right. We're starting a slow flow here, vinyasa flow sequence. So we step back the right with the right to crescent lunge, lifting the arms nice and high. Back knee comes down, open through the arms, open through the chest, pull back Ardha Hanumanasana or half split. Just stretching through the hamstring. Keep it nice and gentle as you start and come deeper as we flow through our practice. Coming forward from here, heel toe the foot a little wider, hand comes inside the foot, either staying high or come down to the forearms. Either stay here or you can reach the arm around, take the quad stretch. So take the back toes, draw the heel in towards your butt. One full breath, whatever position you're in. Now we release, both hands to the front, heel toe the foot back in. So you're in your low lunge. We come up to pyramid. So stretching over the front thigh, and then from there, feet come back, both feet come back to the front. We come into our chair pose, butt down like you're sitting into a chair, ribs drawing in, arms nice and long. Bring the hands back down to, to heart center. Other side, let's go, that's our sequence. Lengthening out, crescent lunge. Back knee comes down, open through the chest, Ardha Hanumanasana, pull back, half split. Just taking your time to warm your muscles up, giving them what they need, respecting them. Come forward, heel toe the foot, hand comes inside the foot. We're either here or come down to the forearms. Stay here if that's enough, or reach the arm around, take the toe, quad stretch. Wherever you are, one full breath. Inhale, exhale. We bring the foot back in. Low lunge, pyramid, stretching over the front leg. Step the foot in, chair pose, back to standing. Keep breathing, let the breath support you. Other side again, we're building on it a little. Lift the arms, back knee comes down, open through the chest. We stretch back. Ardha Hanumanasana, 
breathe. Send the breath down into the muscles. We come forward, heel toe the foot, either hands down, or if it's for you, maybe the forearms this time. We can reach around, take the quad stretch. One more full breath. Hands come back to the front. Bring the foot back to center, low lunge. We come to pyramid, and this time from pyramid, you can bring the foot underneath you a little. We come to standing split, both hands down, lift the back leg, try and square the hips, bring your chest towards your thigh. If you need to keep the bottom leg bent, that's fine too. Your practice, whatever you need today. Folding in, we come to chair pose once again. Lifting high. Other side, let's go. Crescent lunge. Back knee down. Open through the chest. Adha Hanumanasana, pull back. See if you can come a little deeper. We come forward. Heel toe the foot, hand comes inside. Either stay nice and high or coming down. If it's for you, reaching around, quad stretch. Take that breath. Hands forward, bring the foot in. Low lunge, pyramid. Standing split, hands down, pressing the back leg off, chest towards the thigh. If you can, try and keep your hips nice and square here. This is great preparation for handstand. We fold the leg in, lifting to chair, come to standing. We're taking that all once more. I want you to come deeper, let's go. So we come back, crescent lunge, knee comes down, open through the chest. Pull back, half split. Coming forward. Heel toe the foot. Lifting tall. See if you can find greater range this time. Reaching around. Hand comes forward once again. Toe heel the foot in. Pyramid. Find that deeper stretch. We lift off once again, standing split, chest to thigh. Can you get that leg a little higher? Your best standing split ever. Bring the foot down, chair pose, sink a little lower this time. We're warmed up, let's give it all we've got. Hands come down, crescent lunge. Nice deep crescent lunge here. Knee comes down, arms wide. Stretching over the leg, Adha Hanumanasana. Breath here. No tension through the head and neck. Coming forward, heel toe the foot a little wider. Hands come inside the foot. High or low this time. Reach the arm around if it's for you. Quad stretch. Hand comes forward once again. Bring the foot in. Pyramid pose. Find that deeper stretch this time. Standing split, last one. Give it all you've got. Try and square the hips here. Lift that leg. Bringing it in. Last chair pose. Sinking down, ribs draw in. Reaching the arms, electricity right through the arms and out the fingertips. Hands come to prayer at heart centre. Beautiful work. Hopefully you're feeling warm as well as a little bit stretched there. We're coming to a moon salutation variation. So facing me, reaching the arms nice and high, inhale. We side bend, finding that beautiful side stretch. And the other side. Stepping the feet wide, star pose, goddess. So drawing the shoulder blades down, feeling that strength through the back of the body, triangle. Toes to the right, reaching the arms wide, drop the hip, rotate the arms. So you're here, you can keep a bend in the knee. So either here or bring the hand down if you've got the range. From here, we rotate through our pyramid pose and come to reverse triangle. So reverse triangle, you can bend this front knee and either come high 
or keep the hand down. Really try and find that twist. From there, Skandasana. So either high Skandasana here, here, or bringing the toes off. Deep breath there. Transferring the weight to the other side. And finding our low lunge on the other side. We start with reverse triangle. Once again, you can have hand to the, to the thigh or down or even the shin if that works for you. Stretch the arm high. Find that beautiful twist. Coming through our pyramid pose to triangle. Stretching that top arm high. Bending this knee if you need. You're between two panes of glass here. We reach wide, come to star, down to our goddess pose. Can you open those knees a little wider? Really feel that stretch through the inner thighs. Lifting the arms high. Stretching over right and left. Hands to prayer at heart center. Take a moment. Other side, reaching high. We're going back the other way. Stretching over. Find that beautiful side stretch. And the other side. See if you can find greater range this time. Take it a little further. Coming up. Feet wide. Lift. Sink down. Triangle to the left. Reaching the arms nice and wide. Reach, drop the hip, rotate the arms. We come through our pyramid. Reverse triangle, turning away from me. Skandasana, taking your option. Whatever serves you today, whatever feels right in your body, coming across. Hands come down. Let's find our reverse triangle once again. Through pyramid, finding our triangle facing me. Lifting high. Really find that beautiful breadth across the chest and out through the fingertips. We reach the arm wide. Come high. Sink low. Come deeper. Feet together. Lift. Stretching over, find that side bend. Lift, and the other side. Keep drawing in through the belly here. And up. Lastly, bring the hands down to prayer, heart center. Deep breath, beautiful work. Okay, just one standing balance today. I will face you. So we're taking extended big toe hold. So options here, really grounding down through the left foot so you really feel it's holding you strongly to the earth. From here, you can either take, you can either have a bend in the, the bottom leg if that's better for you, and draw the knee in. So you can either just hold here with the knee if that's enough, stay right there. Otherwise, hand to the waist, we take the big toe. So peace fingers around the big toe, stretching the leg out. Now, once you're here, you can either keep the knee bent, you can bend the supporting leg, or supporting leg is straight, and we take the extended leg straight. All right, holding there, really set your gaze on a fixed point in front of you. So we set our mind with our eyes first. That's what helps us focus and build discipline and strength. From there, taking the leg wide. So if you take it wide, you can take the arm out. And from here, wherever you are, I want you to find your full expression of the posture. You only live once, so make the most of it while you're here. Find it, hold it, and then release, coming down. Take a moment, take a breath. Let's take the other side. So once again, you can hold onto the knee, or if it's for you, hand to the waist. Peace fingers to the big toe, whatever option serves you today. Stretching the leg out, let's hold there. And if you fall out, just come back into it. 
It's what we've got to do in life and in yoga. We fall down, we get back up, and we try again. All right, let's go. Taking the leg wide, you can take the arm out. And as I said, find the full expression of your posture, wherever that is today. Find it, give it all it's got. And bring it in. Beautiful, take a few breaths, well done. If you need some water, have some water. Let's come down to the mat. So just coming down, just a little bit of core and back work today. Let's take boat pose. You can keep your hands down if that's for you. Or bring, and, or bring so hands down, legs up, so they're parallel to the floor. You want your belly drawing in, breadth across the chest, and you can take your arms long. Eye gaze is directly over your feet. Let's hold here for a count of 20. Getting stronger physically and mentally. 15. 10. 5. And we're out of there. Okay, reverse tabletop. Hands press down, fingertips towards your feet. From here, feet are hip-width apart. We're going to lift our butts off. And you want your knees to be directly over your ankles. <laughs> lift the butt high. You can either keep the head in front of you, if that's enough, or take it to the ceiling. Really push the mat away through those arms, building strength through the back of the body and through the shoulders. Hold there. coming out of it. We're taking that once again. So let's take our boat pose. Find your option. Let's go. Count of 20. Fifteen. Stay strong. Draw that core in. That's ten. Five. And we're out of there. Reverse tabletop. Hands down, feet hip width. Let's go. Pressing up. Coming down. Beautiful. Let's just take a stretch through the chest. So rolling over. Bring the hand to a 90 degree angle. Let's lift this leg. Oop. Wrong side, <laughs> let's go this way. I'm turning away from you, I'm sorry. Find your chest stretch. And let's take the other side. 90 degree angle through the arm, pressing down through the other hand. Find the chest stretch. We're out of there. Just a quick stretch through the back of the body. Push the hands into the mat, lifting high. Keep drawing the belly in to protect the lower spine. Coming down, roll yourself over, sitting up. Janushirasana, so our hamstring stretch. Bring the foot in towards the thigh. We sit up nice and high on the sit bones. Lift the arms, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Coming down. We'll stay here a little while, see if we can come deeper into the stretch. Really use that breath to relax the body, relax the muscles.
You remember when you stretch, no more than 80% of your range. So where you can really feel the stretch, but you can still keep the breath nice and steady and keep the tension out of the rest of your body. Okay, walking the hands up. We'll just take flash dance as our counter posture, pressing the hand down, sweep the arm high, and either you can keep to the side or take, lift the chest and take a gentle arch through the spine. Coming back down, let's take the other side, stretching the leg out, sitting up nice and tall, lift, inhale, exhale, coming forward. Really bring the gaze inward here. So this is where you let go of the outside world and explore the internal sensations in the body. Your breathing, your heart rate. What are your muscles saying to you? How's your energy shifting? See if you can drop in a little deeper into the stretch. Let's take one more full breath there. Inhale. Exhale. Sink a little deeper into the posture. And then we walk the hands back up, flash dance, press the hand down, reach the arm high, either keeping it fairly side on or turning the chest towards the ceiling. And coming out of it. All right, upper vista konasana. So our wide leg forward fold, either keeping the knees bent, bring them straight and take, go as wide as you can. Feeling fairly comfortable still though. We're gonna stay here a little while. So knees and toes are pressing directly to the ceiling. From here, inhale, exhale, let's walk the hands down. Find your stretch. No tension through the head and neck, just check that. Check that the effort is all in the stretch through the adductors, through the hip space. If you need to take a moment to come out of it, please do. You can come up, take a breath and then come back down. You want to be stretching your body, giving your body some, some gentle stretches at least three times a week to maintain flexibility, but then also start to develop and, and progress it to become a little more flexible. And it doesn't matter what age you are, we can all become a little more flexible. Okay. Walking the hands in, let's take a side bend. You can either keep both legs wide or you can draw one leg in if you prefer. Let's press the hand down, inhale, lift the arm. Exhale, folding over sideways. Really reaching for the side wall with the fingertips. Coming up, other side, pressing the hand into the mat. Inhale, exhale, reaching over. Really trying to drop into the posture, to surrender to it. And all the goodness it's giving you. And coming out of it, we're going to bring the legs in gently first. Maybe just knock the knees together. So you're just turning the leg in the hip socket a different way. 
and we'll come to half pigeon. Setting up, you can either take 90-90 with the front leg and back leg bent or come to half pigeon, either keeping the front knee at the 90 degree angle or draw it in, roll this top hip over, lift and then fold forward. Once again, focusing on those deep, full breaths and really sending the breath down into the hip space, relaxing the muscles, relaxing the joints. You can stay right there or if it's for you, you can walk the hands in front of the foot a little more to come on the diagonal. And the last option I'll give you is to take prayer hands. So you can bring the elbow down, bring the hands to prayer, and this brings in a little bit of a twist at the same time. And then wherever you are, finding your way out of it nice and gently, let's take the other side. Bringing the leg around, setting up, finding the option that's right for you today. Find length through the spine, inhale, exhale, folding forward. And once again, really dropping into the posture. Staying right here in your practice without letting your mind rush off into everything you need today. Just stay right here. And if it's for you, you can bring the hands out to the diagonal for a slightly different angle or take prayer hands. Bring the bottom elbow down, pressing the hands together, finding the side stretch. And then coming out of it nice and gently, rolling down on your mat. Now, either just stay with hugging the knees in or we come to plow pose. So for plow pose, using your core, rock your knees in towards you, take your hands to your lower back and take the legs over. You can either bend the knees if that's better for you or keep them straight. And either hand supporting the lower back or you can clasp the hands and stretch them long. Wherever you are, the back of the head is pressing into the mat, so you take the weight off the cervical spine. One more breath there. And then really slowly drawing the belly in, lowering the legs down. And either come to reclined pigeon or come to Sapta Gomukhasana. So we take one knee over the other. And then from there, taking the feet. If you need a pillow or a block underneath your head, you're welcome to take one there. Otherwise, just drawing the feet in and you'll feel a beautiful stretch through the outside of the hips here. Deep breaths, really starting to lower our energy down now, finding a beautiful sense of calm. Let's take the other side. Crossing the knee over, reaching for the feet, drawing the feet wide, finding that stretch through the outside of the hips.
Inhale. Exhale. Releasing the legs gently. Let's come to our twist. Taking the right knee across the body. Stretching the left leg long. Taking the other arm out and turning the head if it feels good. And nice and gently drawing the knees back to center. Let's take the other side. So toe at the knee, hand pressing onto the outside of the knee here. Stretch the arm wide, turning the head. Finding that beautiful twist. Medicine for our spine. Coming back to center, finishing off with happy baby, taking the position that's right for you, hands behind the knees, hands to the lower legs, or inside or outside the feet. Draw the knees down towards the armpits. Beautiful opener through the inner thighs and hips. Realigning the spine. And then from there, we come to our meditation. You're welcome to take Shavasana. I'm taking extended butterfly today. Soles of the feet together, knees wide, reaching the arms overhead. I'm just taking my arms long today. And then from there, just focusing in on the breath. Staying present, staying anchored right here. As you inhale, expanding through the rib cage, the belly lifts. And as you exhale, belly lowers down, ribs draw back in. Just breathing in your own time. And as nice as it would be to stay here for a while longer, just keeping the eyes closed, draw yourself over to one side, take a moment there for yourself before we reintegrate with the day. Pressing yourself up to sitting, keeping the eyes closed. Finding a cross-legged position Sit bones anchoring you to the earth, hands are resting lightly on the thighs, either downward or you can turn the palms upward in an offering of surrender. Find that beautiful breadth across the chest, pressing up through the crown of the head. Let's sweep the arms wide on the inhale, drawing in fresh new energy. Bring the hands down to prayer at heart center, exhaling, finding calm. Thank you so much for your energy, your commitment, and your spirit in our practice today. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this practice today. I hope you're feeling stretched and lengthened and strong. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.